area under the standard normal table. In this lecture, we will start uh, finding or calculating the probabilities or areas under the standard normal curve. But first, let's look at some important properties. When we draw this curve, we, uh, the total area under this curve is 1.0. The area to the left of 0 equal 0.5. The area to the right of 0 equal 0.5. These are important properties about the standard normal curve. So that the entire area is 1.0. We always need to remember that the entire area under the curve is 1.0. And that the area to the left of it is 0.5. The left of 0 is 0.5. The area to the right of 0 is 0.5. Alright, the second important property we need to pay attention to is symmetry. Suppose we are asked to find the area to the right of 1. So when we position 1 here and then draw this, uh, highlight the area, we can quickly see that this area to the right of 1 is the same as the area to the left of negative 1 by virtue of symmetry. So you can see this area is the same as that area. So what symmetry does is give us some sort of convenience. Meaning that if I'm asked to find probability or the area that is to the right, I can come and find the area to the uh, corresponding to the area to the left of negative 1. And we got the same answer. So I'm good. by convenience, I'm using, I will use which one is more convenient, much, much more easier to do. All right, we already talked about this curve. The total area is 1. Area of the, to the left of 0 is 0.5. Area to the right of 0 is 0.5. Now, reading the standard normal curve area to the left of a positive z. Now, what we need to pay attention to here is that first we have this picture. That's the picture of the standard normal curve. And then we have a z here. All the area to the left of it is highlighted in light blue. That area in light blue is basically these probabilities. 0.5 all the way to 0.5359 coming down all the way to 0.8621 and keep on going. Now, all this picture is saying is this. If we are asked to find the area to, to the left of a Z, Z being any uh, positive number here, is we figure what that z is and then come inside the table and read it. Okay, let's illustrate. What is the area to the left of 0, 0.0? Okay, we will uh, vertically, we will read 0, 0.0 here, but we need to pay attention here and pick up 0, 0.0. So at the intersection, we find that the area to the left of 0 is 0 0.5, which we already know. Uh, in the beginning that the area to the left of 0 is 0.5, the area to the right of 0 is 0.5. Now, let's suppose we are asked to find the area to the left of 0 0.15, 0 0.15. Vertically, we pick up 0 0.1 here. And then, on top, horizontally, we pick up the 0 0.05. So, 0 0.1 plus 0 0.05 is 0.15. So, at the intersection, we get the area to the left of 0 0.15 to be 0 0.5596. Now, what if we were asked to find the area to the left of 0 0.49? So, we'll pick up the 0 0.4 vertically here. And on top, we pick up the 0 0.09. At the intersection, the area to the left of 0 0.49 is 0 0.6879. What is the area to the left of 1.0? So, we'll pick up 1.0 here. Uh, horizontally, we read the 0, 0.0. The area to the left of 1.0 is 0 0.8413. All right. Now, the table is going all the way. So, what is the area to the left of 1.85? So, we will read vertically 1.8, horizontally 0 0.05. At the intersection, the area to the left of 1.85 is 0 0.9678. What we are asked to read, the area to the left of 2.22. 2.22, so we will read 2.2 here, vertically. And horizontally, we will read 0.02. At the intersection, 
we see that the area to the left of 2.22 is 0.9868. Likewise, what is the area to the left of 2.49? So I pick up 2.4 vertically here. Horizontally, I read the 0 0.09. The intersection, we get the 0 0.9936. All right. Now, here, uh, the table continues all the way to 349. And the table stops. What is the area to the left of 3.28? So I will pick up vertically 3.2. Uh, horizontally, I will pick up the 0 0.08. And intersection, at the intersection where they met, uh, is 0 0.9995. So the area to the left of 3.28 is 0.9995. What is the area to the left of 3.49? So you will read 3.4 here. On top, we read 0 0.09. At the intersection is 0 0.998. Now, let's suppose we're solving a real-world problem. And we get the Z that is 3.57. As you can see, there's no 3.57 here. It stops at 3.49. So what will be the area to the left of that? By convention, we will just read 0 0.9999, four nines, 0 0.999, that is the highest. Notice that at the 3.4 level, the probabilities start to be very close to 1, you know, 0 0.997, 0 0.998. So anything greater than 349, we will just use 0 0.9999, four nines. Now, we turn our attention to finding the area to the left of a negative z. Before, we were reading the area to the left of z when z was positive. Now, we're doing the same thing, but for z being negative. For example, what is the area to the left of negative 2.55? So, we'll pick up the negative 2.5 here on top. We read 0 0.05 at the intersection. We get the area to the left of negative 255 is 0.0054. What is the area to the left of negative 2.28? We will pick up negative 2.2 here. On top, we read 0.08. At the intersection, we find that the area of probability to the left of negative 2.28 is 0.0113. Again, we will keep on going. What is the area to the left of negative 1.0? So we'll read negative 1.0 here. Obviously, the uh, horizontally it has to be 0, 0.0 for us to get negative 1.0. So the area to the left of negative 1 or negative 1.0 is 0. 0.1587. All right. Likewise, we continue. Um, negative 0. 0.1. Okay. We will pick up negative 0.1 here. Uh, so read the 0, 0.0 here, and we get 0, 0.4602. What is the area that z is less than negative 0. 0.75? We pick up negative 0. 0.75. Uh, negative 0. 0.7 here, 0. 0.05 here, and at the intersection we go to 0. 0.226. Let me go back to the beginning of the chart. So you see here, the smallest value was negative 3.49. What if we have calculated a Z value that was negative 3, uh, anything less than negative 3.49, let's say negative 3.5 or negative 4, what uh, probability would we take? Again, here you see it's becoming smaller, 0 0.00002. So anything less than negative 349, let's say negative 3.5, negative 4, etc., we will uh, use 0 0.301. So by convention, if we read anything less than negative 349, we will use the lowest probability 0 0.001. 301. All right, so this is how we read the table. Now you see we exhaust the negative values and then we are back to the positive. This is how we read the standard normal table. In the next lecture, we will start with practical example uh, to, to illustrate how the table is read. Thank you.